What's going on, guys? Uh, I'm a boxing fan at the end of the day. When it's all said and done, uh, I don't love the boxers, but I do love the sport. And that's how it should be. That's how it should be. But unfortunately, as we all know, it's not. You got some guys that don't, they're not boxing fans. They love boxers, infatuated with them. They're so in love with them, it's scary. And if you say anything about them, you don't know shit about boxing. They'll make, especially for the guys that make predictions, if you make a prediction against a guy that uh, that they love, you know, they'll make ghost accounts, cuss you out. They go to the extreme just for that. I'm just, it, it, it tickles me. But, uh, Anyway, ever since this Manny Pacquiao and this Floyd Mayweather situation has happened, there has been a lot of hate towards Floyd Mayweather, and there has been a lot of love towards, towards Manny Pacquiao. I like both fighters. I think Manny Pacquiao is a, uh, is, a, is, a, is a beast. Is a beast. I think Mayweather is a beast. This is my opinion. This is what I think. But I think there's a double standard. Especially when it comes to Floyd Mayweather. He got he's the most hated boxer I've ever seen in my life. He doesn't get credit for any of his fights. He ain't fight nobody. He ain't fight nobody. He's ducking and dodging. He ducking, he ducking and dodging. He playing dodgeball. But that's not true. That's not true. Early in his career, he's fight he fought these guys that are not mentally defeated. He fought undefeated Dale Corrales. Dale Corrales was knocking out everybody. Uh, Mayweather, he ain't, he ain't ready for him. He got too much power. He gonna walk him down. Mayweather beat him. They discredited it that win. He fought the veteran Hernandez, a veteran. He got too much experience with Floyd Mayweather. What? They discredited that win. He fought uh, Angel Man Freddie. Angel Man Freddie had more experience, more of a boxer. He was more. He was more of a. Uh, uh, he was more of the guy. He was that dude. Can box, all that. Uh, uh, he, he thinks in the ring, whatever. He beat him. They discredit that. Follow Toro Gotti, the warrior, the people's champion. Beat him, Arturo Gotti. He's over the hill. He should retire. He ain't been in too many wars. Discredited his win. He fought every fight. No bullshit. He fought Zab Judah. Zab Judah. Man, Zab Judah, he got speed, man. He got power, too. Ooh. Floyd Mayweather can't do nothing with him. Floyd Mayweather, uh... He would have stopped him had not Zab Judah possessed the same hatred a lot of these guys have for him and low blowed him. But anyway, they discredited it that win. You know, Zab Judah, he ain't, he ain't the same Zab Judah no more. Now, all of a sudden, Zab Judah fights Miguel Cotto. Miguel Cotto beats him, and guess what? Miguel Cotto's praised for it. It's the best thing since sliced bread. Uh, Oscar De La Hoya, when he wants to fight Oscar De La Hoya, Oscar De La Hoya don't want he said. Nigga, you got to come up and fight me. I'm not coming up down to 147. You got to come up to fight me. I'm going to get the most money. I want you to fight these gloves. I want you to fight this, this venue with this ring size. Maybe I said, okay. Nobody said Oscar's being a, 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 a pussy about that. He don't want to fight. For, nobody said that. And you got to take the two extra blood tests. Make sure you ain't on them roids. On that juice. I got to make sure your body ain't juicy, uh, Floyd. He did that. He beat him. They said, Oscar's over the hill. He's too old. Then they turn around. Oscar, it's like they don't want to give, Mayweather ain't got, he can't do nothing. You can't call no shots. But now all of a sudden, now you're going to come down, Oscar. You're going to fight Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao comes up to 147. Oscar ain't fought Walter Wade in a decade. He comes down. He loses. Manny Pacquiao's praise for that. Double standard. He stopped him quicker than Mayweather. Well, of course, he's weak. Look at his chicken legs. He's doing this weak, man. That ain't the same Oscar. This is not Manny Pacquiao's fault. This has to do with how they're handling Pacquiao. They're putting him in the, in the ring with fighters that's coming off of losses or been mentally destroyed. Miguel Cotto, he just been he got his head banged in, brains banged out by Margarito with plaster gloves. He's hitting it with bricks. Bricks. I mean, it's not the same person, man. Ricky Hatton's not the same after Floyd Mayweather, man. Not the same. Say a tornado come through, hits a building, the foundation, he don't drop the building, but the foundation's weakened. That second tornado come through and knock the building down, he's going to get all the credit. Same thing just happened. 
It's not Man Pat Manny Pacquiao's fault that they that Bobby Aaron and now. Freddie Roach said that Miguel Cotto was the same fighter. He knew this. He knew this. But here's the deal: the disadvantages that they do. He gets in the ring at 147 to fight La Hoya. But you want to fight a catch weight with uh, Miguel Cotto. Why not fight at 147? And you want the belt at 145? Come on, man. I'm a boxing fan. That's an insult. But then you win. He's praised for it. But now he's talking about moving up to uh, 154 to fight Yuri Foreman for the belt. Okay, you can move up to 154, but you wouldn't fight at 147. Nobody says anything about this. This bothers me. Uh, and they trying to be uh, trying to pump up this cloudy fight. This cloudy fight, man. This is a, this is a this is a waste of time. You know, God looked at my prediction. He said that if I knew anything about boxing, because I don't know, you know shit about boxing, that I would have known that Claudia B. Cotto. Well, if you watch my video, I said personally, I thought that uh, Claudia beat him. But that's my opinion. I said that. He didn't watch the video, so he just assuming. Uh, Mayweather fights Ricky Hatton. You know. He loses. I mean, he beats Ricky Hatton. They discredit him. Say he's too small. He did Marquez too small. He should be fighting a real welterweight like Sugar Shane Mosley. But they don't follow boxing. If they would have followed boxing, they would have known that Sugar Shane turned down Mayweather years back. Mayweather. They asked Mosley about it. He said, "My tooth loose. I need a vacation." I remember that. But nobody says nothing about that. Double standard. Double standard. He been wanting to fight Mosley. Mosley turned him down, and he and he did the same thing to uh, Mosley. Now Mayweather's ducking. Everybody, everybody in boxing from any weight division can can go up and catch weights and fights and do all this stuff. But Mayweather, why is that? Everybody got to have all these demands on Mayweather about the, what he got to do. You know, Pacquiao wanted the they wanted the the gloves. The small gloves, he's got brittle hands, the uh, the ring size, the venue, everything. He asked for a random blood test, and that's just so bad. He never asked for it before. Well, there's a first time for everything. I mean, he's not asking something. I mean, come, it's a blood test, a random blood test. Just, he, just a random blood test. I don't see the big deal about it. But uh, this is, it's crazy, man. This double standard stuff, man. Stop. Stop. You know? There's things I don't like about Mayweather. It is. But I can't judge him like that. I have to, I mean, how I feel about him personally, I have to respect what the man does professionally. You know what I'm saying? I, I have to. You have to respect that. I mean, you got all this other stuff going on. And Bob Arum has a, a habit of putting his fighters in with these guys that, been ha that, that, that Oscar De La Hoya. He came out, came after all the Felix Trinidad fights. Obacar, for, uh, Fernando Vargas, uh, uh, Pernell Whitaker. Even after he left Bob Bob Arum, Oscar, he fought. Came after him again. Ricardo Mayorga, uh, uh, Bernard. All these guys are are not the same. Not Bernard. But all these guys are not the same after Felix got a hold of them. Nobody says nothing. Double standard, man. Come on, y'all. For real. For real. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You know the saying. Marquez and Pacquiao come from 140 pounds. They can fight each other twice, three times, four times, whatever. But Marquez is too small for Mayweather. But Manny Pacquiao is just right. Don't matter. They come from 140. They just right. But he can't fight these other. They can't fight. I mean, it's 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 a no win situation. Uh, but if if uh, Mayweather beats, knocks out Sugar Shane Mosley. Shane Mosley is too old. But if Manny Pacquiao beat him, he's a god. It's a double. Standard, and what I meant on the uh, the top rank with the Bob Arum, uh, like I was saying, uh, Oscar De La Hoya was a Bob Arum fighter, and I seen this. Nobody else seen this, and you put him in there with these guys that were mentally defeated. To get that name on their resume. They don't have to do this with Manny Pacquiao. I don't know why they're doing it, trying to get these catch weights. Uh, get these guys weak when Manny Pacquiao is good enough to beat these guys on the even playing field. But they they do it, but nobody says anything. You know, I'm a boxing fan. This stuff bothers me. It might not bother you if you're not a boxing fan, but if you're a boxing fan, you'll feel what I'm talking about. If you don't show any bias, I live. I, I'm right in the middle, or at least I try to be.